You have been waiting for this one, my friends. Today we are reviewing the best wireless lavalier microphones, both for DSLRs and your phone. I'm Amanda Horvath and I'm all about helping business owners and entrepreneurs leverage the power of video without breaking the bank or taking up tons of their time. So if you're looking to use video in your strategy this year, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to be notified every time I release a new video. In a previous video, I reviewed the best lavalier microphones for your phone, but those were all wired. And a lot of you kept commenting and asking for me to create a best wireless lavalier microphone video. So without further ado, here we are creating that video. Now, the one thing that I do want to note is that if you are going wireless, you're going to need just a tad bit more budget. The lavalier microphones that I previously recommended, they were all wired, but they were about $30 to $80 within that range, all under $100. And within this one, you're looking at more between $100 and $200 range. So if you have the budget, going wireless is awesome, but I wanted to point that out for those of you that want an affordable lavalier and you don't necessarily need a wireless mic. So I will link to that video in the cards. And with that, let's dive in to reviewing these four wireless lavalier microphones. Microphone one, Movo Edge D. You are now hearing what the Movo WMX1 lavalier microphone sounds like. Now I wanted to start with this microphone because it does have a little bit of a niche use to it in that it can only be used with your phone, specifically your iPhone. If you are an Android user, then go ahead and skip to the next recommendation because I do have one for you. Now there's a ton of iPhone users out there and so I wanted to include this one because it has something that is really unique compared to the other ones that I'm going to be reviewing. And that is that it has a very simple receiver that plugs directly into your phone. So you have the transmitter that you're going to wear on your body and then the receiver that plugs directly into your phone, which is really nice because you're not having to figure out where to put the receiver that would be this same size near your phone whenever you're filming. And let's say that you were recording to on the go, right? And you just want to plug this in and hit record and maybe someone else is recording on a separate camera, recording the actual video, then you can just lock this, put it in your pocket and it will continue to record and it's a wireless setup for that. So really pretty awesome whether you're filming with your phone or using this as a separate recording audio device. Having said that, if you are just doing a seated talking head interview like this one, it's still pretty nice just to have this one little setup. The other benefit that I wanted to be sure to point out is that this also has the ability to plug in headphones, which is awesome because you can actually hear what your audio sounds like before you hit record or while you're hitting record. So let's say that you have a second person that is on set with you that is recording your audio. They could be monitoring it the entire time to make sure that there's no interference because you are using a wireless system and there might be um, or anything like that. So having a headphone jack is really awesome. So what do you think about this microphone? Go ahead and drop a comment below letting me know. Microphone two. Ceramonic Blink 500 B2W. You are now hearing what the Ceramonic Blink 500 microphone sounds like. Now, the first thing you're going to realize is that I have the white version of the microphone. They make it in black as well, but the white version is really cool if say you're a wedding videographer and you need to use it for a wedding, obviously with the bride's dress, or maybe you're just someone that likes to wear white a lot, then having a white microphone might be really cool. But I did wanna point out that it also comes in black. Now with this microphone, you can get it in an individual set, just one microphone, or you can get two microphones along with the transmitter. So let me show you what this looks like. So I have the transmitter here, which is really nice and cute and little. I like the size of it a lot. 
And then we have the receiver and you can see I do have that obstacle where now I'm having something extra hanging out of the phone or out of my camera. If I was shooting with the camera, you have to figure out where to put that. And I am using with it, all of these microphones, you're going to have to watch out for which cable goes to your camera and which cable goes to your phone because they are different. And the way that you're going to know which one goes where, usually each of these companies is going to label it. However, if you look at, let's say your headphones that would go directly into your phone, you could look at that and see how many numbers of lines are on those headphones. So let me find my headphones. Let me pull those up. So when I'm looking at them, and it's gonna be hard for you guys to see this, but there's three lines on it instead of just two. So you find the one that has three lines and then you can use that cable. The other awesome thing about this microphone that I want to highlight and point out is that you can actually use it outside of having a lavalier microphone. So you could pin this directly onto your shirt because it has a microphone built into it. So if for some reason you forget the lavalier or for whatever reason you wanna use this instead of using the lavalier, then you could do that. Personally, I don't think I would ever do that just because this looks a little bit clunky and it has to be close enough to their mouth. So. I think you should just use the lavalier, but I did want to point out that that is an option because it's kind of similar to the Rode Wireless Go that is another popular wireless lavalier microphone out there uh, that Rode makes, and they have this ability to do it as well. So this is a direct competitor to theirs, and it competes at a really great level for a more affordable price point as well. So if you've heard of that microphone before and you've considered it, then you might want to consider this one instead. And one final thing that I want to point out is that these microphones, you can adjust the level of them, which is awesome. So you'll see me talk about this with a, a later one, but if for some reason the audio coming into your phone is at too high of an input, then it's going to peak your audio and it's going to distort the sound that you are recording. So having the ability to lower or raise your volume is key when it comes to shooting either with your camera, you're getting audio with your camera or on your phone. So there's just a couple of things on, there's just a plus and minus on the actual transmitter. And just by clicking those, you can adjust the volume. Now, because there are no headphone jack, there's no headphone jack that accompanies this, this specific microphone, you are going to need to hit record find the best volume for you, then take it out, listen to it, make sure it sounds good, plug it back in, adjust it as needed, and do all of that before you actually hit record. Microphone three, Comica Boom XD. You are now hearing what the Comica Boom XD microphone sounds like. Now this one is rather sensitive when I'm plugged into my phone, and so I'm going to show you these in a second but I want to first take these and actually plug them into my camera to see if it might be a little bit better of an input using that compared to this, which if I speak kind of loudly, which I typically do in my videos, then the audio gets peaked and it's gonna be distorted. So we don't want that to be the case. So I'm now plugged directly into the camera and you can see what that sounds like or hear what that sounds like. And if I talk a little bit more loudly, we can see if it can handle the input level on the camera. I think across the board that these are just really sensitive. I did lower the input both on the transmitter, so there is an option to lower it, and on the camera input level for the audio. So I put that down as far as it could possibly go and I went as low as possible on the level on the transmitter and it still seems to be rather sensitive. So if you are a soft spoken person, then this microphone might be good for you. However, if you are really loud, then it might not be as good. But I do wanna show how cute and adorable these are. They're so Instagrammable. I so wish that they could handle my voice. Now you might look at these and think, Amanda, that's cute and little. 
well, you're not used to seeing the typical standard wireless lavalier packs that look like this. So much more cute and adorable. The two other features that I want to quickly highlight on this microphone is that it does have a headphone jack on the receiver, so you can listen to what is being recorded as you are recording it, and it has a microphone on the actual transmitter itself, so if you did not have a lavalier microphone, it comes with one, so I don't know why you wouldn't have one, but if for some reason you just wanted to pin this to your shirt, you could do that as well. But overall, with this microphone, it's really sensitive. So if you're a soft-spoken person, then it's good for you. Otherwise, I would choose one of the others. Microphone four, Anleone P1 slash P. You are now hearing the Anleone P1 slash P microphone. Now, out of all of the microphones, purely based on looks alone, this one seems to be the most professional looking microphone. And that I say that because it looks like the traditional wireless lavalier microphones that are the standard within the industry. So these are the Sennheiser G3 microphones, and this is what I use and they're like $600 compared to this, which is $200. So if you needed a solution, say you're a videographer and you do want to show up looking professional and you don't wanna use one of these other ones, but you need an affordable solution, then this might be a better microphone of choice for you. Now, if you are just a business owner and you're looking for a more compact solution, then this one might not be as good because it is pretty, there's a lot, there's a lot going on here. Um, and you can notice it has a headphone jack as well. So you can listen to what is being recorded, which obviously I love to be able to do. So I'm running directly into my phone, recording on the voice memo app once again. I thought that this could be used with the DSLR, but I actually stopped recording, plugged it into the DSLR just to test it, and it can't. So this is purely for your phone. You cannot use it with your camera. Now this mic does have channel inputs. So if for some reason you're getting a frequency interference, which does happen when you're using wireless microphones, then you can simply change the channel with these microphones, which is awesome. And it also has the ability to set your gain level. So on the receiver, you can change the input gain to be down to negative six or up to plus six decibels. And I put this down to negative six, so that's what you're listening to it right now, because if I was to speak really loudly, it's more likely than not going to peak. Now that you've heard all of these microphones, I'm going to throw them all on my computer, listen to them, and then give you my final takeaways of what I think is the best microphone. You are now hearing what the Movo WMX1 lavalier microphone sounds like. You are now hearing what the Ceramonic Blink 500 microphone sounds like. You are now hearing what the Comica Boom XD microphone sounds like. You are now hearing the Anleone P1 slash P microphone. So out of all of these, which one do I recommend the most? I would remove these due to the input gain being relatively too high. The next would be these two because it, this one works with both a DSLR and your iPhone. So these only work with your phone. If you are strictly just using your phone, it really comes down to portability. This is an amazingly portable. However, this one here I did find had more of a reliable wireless connection. So if you're staying at home, then you could totally go with this one. If you want portability, then this is a good option. Just be a little cautious in terms of your audio cutting out during recording. So remove these. And that leaves this as the ultimate winner. And remember, you can also get that in black as well. So which microphone was your favorite? Let me know in the comments section below. Click like if you found this video to be helpful, and I'll see you in the next video.